Imagine a world where every single human being on Earth had dark skin. Not as a minority, not as a specific population, but as the absolute universal standard for our species. 8,000 years ago, this wasn't a radical theory or a science fiction premise. It was the biological reality of our planet. For over 200,000 years, Homo sapiens thrived under the intense ultraviolet radiation of the African sun. Our ancestors were armored with high concentrations of melanin, a natural pigment that protected their DNA from destruction. But then, in a geological heartbeat, something changed. A silent glitch occurred in our genetic code, a mutation that would strip away that armor and rewrite the visual history of Europe forever. Why did nature suddenly decide to break a biological system that had worked for millennia? Was this a calculated move for survival or an accidental byproduct of a changing world? Today, we are going deep into the lost origins of the white skin mutation. We are uncovering the 8,000-year-old genetic secret that transformed a dark-skinned species from the tropics into the fair-complexioned populations we see today. And trust me, the answer isn't what you've been told in history books. Before we understand the mutation, we have to understand the defense. Melanin is one of nature's most effective sunscreens. Its primary job is to absorb and scatter UV radiation, preventing it from penetrating deep into the skin cells where it can wreak havoc on our DNA. In the equatorial regions of Africa, having dark skin was a non-negotiable survival trait. If you lacked melanin, the sun would destroy your folate levels, a B vitamin essential for reproduction and fetal development. In short, in Africa, dark skin was life. But as our ancestors began to migrate out of the continent, they entered environments they were never designed to inhabit. As they pushed north into Europe and Asia, the intensity of the sun began to drop. The very armor that kept them alive in the tropics was starting to become a liability. This is where the story takes a dark turn. Every human needs vitamin D. Our bodies produce it when our skin is exposed to UVB radiation. Vitamin D is the master key for our immune system and bone health. But here's the problem. Dark skin blocks UV radiation so effectively that in the cloudy, low-light environments of Northern Europe, our ancestors couldn't produce enough of it. They were starving for sunlight in a land of clouds. They were facing a biological dead end. Rickets, weakened immune systems, and reproductive failure were looming. Evolution was backed into a corner. And that's when the glitch appeared a specific, accidental change in a single gene that would change everything. But here is the mystery. If the need for vitamin D was so urgent, why did it take nearly 30,000 years of living in Europe for white skin to finally appear? Why did our ancestors remain dark-skinned for tens of thousands of years in the North before the change happened? The answer lies in a hidden source of nutrition that we've only recently discovered. Now let's look at the glitch itself. Geneticists have identified several markers for skin pigmentation, but one stands out above all. The gene SLC24A5. Specifically, a mutation called the A111T allele. Think of this gene like a dimmer switch on a light bulb. In its original form, the switch is turned all the way up, producing high amounts of melanin. But around 8,000 years ago, a single letter in the genetic code of a person living near the Middle East or the Caucasus was swapped. This swap flipped the switch. It didn't just fade the skin slightly, it drastically reduced the production of large, dark melanin granules. This mutation didn't spread slowly like a ripple, it moved through the population like wildfire. Within a few thousand years, it became the dominant genetic signature for almost all Europeans. But the SLC24A5 gene wasn't alone. 
it was part of a symphony of mutations, including SLC45A2 and HERC2, the gene responsible for blue eyes. For a long time, we assumed that as soon as humans hit Europe, they turned white. We were wrong. In 2018, scientists performed DNA analysis on Cheddar Man, a Mesolithic hunter-gatherer who lived in Britain around 10,000 years ago. The results shocked the scientific community. Cheddar Man had dark to black skin, dark curly hair, but interestingly, striking blue eyes. He was the ghost of our past, a reminder that for most of European history, the people living there looked nothing like the people living there today. Cheddar Man was perfectly healthy. He wasn't suffering from vitamin D deficiency. How? Because his diet was rich in oily fish and wild game, which provided all the vitamin D his skin couldn't make from the sun. The white skin glitch only became a survival necessity when we stopped hunting and started farming. Around 8,000 to 10,000 years ago, the agricultural revolution swept through the Near East and into Europe. Humans transitioned from a high-protein, vitamin D-rich diet of wild animals to a grain-based diet. Grains have almost zero vitamin D, Suddenly, the melanin armor became a death sentence. Our ancestors could no longer eat their vitamin D, they had to manufacture it through their skin. This was the tipping point, the glitch in SLC24A5, which might have been a random mutation that had existed in small numbers for years, suddenly became the most valuable asset in the human genome. Those who had the mutation survived the vitamin D crisis brought on by farming. Those who didn't, they faded from the gene pool. But wait, the story gets even more intense. The final bleaching of Europe wasn't just about farming, it was about an invasion. Around 5,000 years ago, a group of people called the Yamnaya arrived from the Eurasian steppes. They were tall, they were fierce, they brought horses, they brought the wheel, and they brought a massive dose of the light skin mutations. The Amnaya migrations rewrote the genetic map of Europe. They didn't just bring the mutation, they brought a social and technological package that allowed it to dominate. Within a few generations, the original dark-skinned, blue-eyed hunter-gatherers of Europe were largely replaced or absorbed. The Europe we recognize today was born in a storm of bronze, horses, and genetic glitches. So, what is the legacy of this 8,000-year-old glitch? Today, we see skin color as a defining human characteristic, often using it to divide ourselves into categories. But science tells a different story. Skin color is nothing more than a biological map of where your ancestors spent their time relative to the sun. It is a tool, an adaptation, a response to a vitamin D crisis that happened just a few thousand years ago. We are all members of the same dark-skinned family that walked out of Africa 70,000 years ago. Some of us just happened to catch a lucky genetic error that allowed us to survive in the cold, gray corners of the world. Our skin isn't a badge of identity, it's a testament to our incredible ability to adapt and survive against all odds. Next time you look in the mirror, remember, you are looking at 200,000 years of survival and one very important 8,000-year-old accident. If you found this journey into our lost origins fascinating, make sure to join our community. Tell us in the comments, what other genetic secrets should we uncover next? One of the most profound misconceptions in human biology is the idea that white skin is a single, unified trait. It isn't. When we look at the fair, complexioned populations of Northern Europe and East Asia, we see something remarkable called convergent evolution. Both groups lost their dark pigment to survive in low-light environments, but they did it through entirely different genetic glitches. 
Think of it like two different inventors trying to solve the same problem, how to let more sunlight into the skin without ever looking at each other's blueprints. While Europeans rely heavily on the SLC24A5 dimmer switch we discussed earlier, East Asians have their own unique set of mutations in genes like OCA2 and DCT. This means that if you go back far enough, the ancestors of a person from Sweden and a person from Japan were both dark-skinned, but they developed light skin independently, thousands of miles and thousands of years apart. Why does this matter? Because it proves that skin color is not a fixed racial marker. It is a highly plastic, adaptable survival mechanism that has reinvented itself multiple times in human history. Every sentence of our DNA is a chui domino, where one mutation triggers a cascade of changes. The East Asian glitch happened much later and followed a different biological logic, yet the result, increased vitamin D absorption, was the same. This is the ultimate proof of nature's pragmatism. To truly appreciate the 8,000-year-old accident, we have to look inside the cell. Inside your skin cells are tiny factories called melanosomes, in dark skin, these factories are large, numerous, and packed with a dark pigment called eumelanin. This pigment is a biological tank. It absorbs UV rays and neutralizes free radicals that would otherwise shatter your DNA. The SLC24A5 mutation changed the shipping and handling of these factories. In people with the European glitch, the melanosomes are smaller, less numerous, and clustered together in a way that allows light to pass through. This isn't a superior design, it is a broken design that became useful. In the tropics, this would be a death sentence, but in the frozen north, where the sun barely skims the horizon, this broken factory allowed the skin to become a solar panel, capturing every stray photon of UVB radiation to create life-saving vitamin D. But there's a catch, a dangerous one. When you strip away the melanin armor, you leave the cell's nucleus exposed. This is why the glitch is a double-edged sword. While it saved our ancestors from rickets and bone deformities, it left us vulnerable to the sun's destructive power. This is a survival trade-off that we are still paying for today. If the need for vitamin D is the sole driver of light skin, then why are the Inuit people of the Arctic, who live in some of the lowest light conditions on Earth, still relatively dark-skinned? This is the open loop that confused scientists for decades. If the theory holds, they should be the palest people on the planet. The answer is a masterclass in biological cheating. The Inuit didn't need to mutate their skin because they hacked the system through their diet. By consuming massive amounts of oily fish, seal liver, and whale blubber, they were ingesting pre-formed vitamin D. Their diet provided so much of the nutrient that there was no evolutionary pressure for their skin to turn white. This tells us something critical. The 8,000-year-old glitch wasn't just caused by moving north, it was caused by moving away from the ocean and becoming farmers. The moment we started eating wheat instead of whale, our skin had to change or we would have gone extinct. We are the descendants of the people who survived the great vitamin D famine of the Neolithic era. As we look at the modern world, the forces that created the white skin glitch are disappearing. With global travel, modern supplements, and indoor lifestyles, the survival advantage of having light skin in the north or dark skin in the south is no longer a matter of life and death. We are entering a period of massive genetic mixing that hasn't been seen since the Yamnaya migrations 5,000 years ago. In a few thousand years, will these regional glitches disappear entirely? Will humanity return to a global average of tan skin? The history of lost origins suggests that we are always in flux. We are not a finished product. We are a work in progress, shaped by the sun, our food, and the random errors in our code. 
We started this journey with a question. Is your skin color a masterpiece or a mistake? The answer is both. It is a masterpiece of survival, built from a series of fortunate mistakes. 8,000 years ago, a single person's genetic error became the foundation for entire civilizations. Your skin is a living record of every kilometer your ancestors walked, every winter they endured, and every dietary shift they made. It is the most visible part of your identity, yet it is only a few thousand years deep. Underneath the pigment, or the lack of it, we are all the same travelers who left Africa with a dream of finding a new home. But before we go, here is the final surprise. Scientists have recently found that some of the genes for light skin were actually present in Africa tens of thousands of years before the European glitch even happened. The blueprints for white skin were already there, hidden in the dark-skinned populations of the tropics, just waiting for the right environment to be activated. We didn't evolve into something new, we simply unlocked a possibility that was always within us. You aren't just a descendant of the 5%, you are a part of a 200,000-year-old story that is still being written. A deep dive into the hidden code of our species shifted your perspective. You know what to do. The algorithm only shares these stories if you engage. Hit that subscribe button to join our hunt for the lost origins of everything we think we know. And I have a challenge for you. If you could glitch one part of your DNA for a survival advantage in the future, what would it be? Super strength? four-hour sleep cycles, or something else entirely. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's start a conversation. Until next time, keep looking for the truth behind the origin. This is Lost Origins, signing off.